Okay, so when when you do the cubic equation, so this is also part of like a cubic equation. It's just that it's like a simpler version. So it's like two standard formula, a bit like what you learn in sec two. Okay, if you still remember sec two, you learn this formula. So it's the same idea as sec two. You need to identify the A and B, then you apply it accordingly. And this formula is usually not given during exam. So if you are being tested for polynomial, you need to memorize this formula. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you a few questions. Okay, my aim is to be able to get the A and the B in the question. So here will be, this is the simpler one. So this one, right, you realize it's very obvious. A is X. B is 2. So it should go to this formula. So this one is just like A plus B. Then A square minus AB plus B square. So B is the same thing if you realize. Except that it's a minus so A is X, B is 2. So it will be the second formula. So these two examples are the same A and B, but we apply it on different formula. So look at the formula. It's A minus B. Then it'll be A square plus 2X and plus B square. So essentially, I got the same A and B. Okay, this will be the one where it's a bit more complex. So 27 is a 3 cube. So observe 27 first. Observe um, 64 first. Mm, okay, I think I'm going to write it this way. So that would be a 3x cube. Okay, so for this one, right, obviously it looks like you're going to be writing this. Okay, but I'm not going to be writing this because if you look at the formula, I need it to be a cube. Okay, so I'm going to get the cube out. So I'll get a 2 square y square. Okay, so look carefully. So by right, it should look like this. But then the formula require, require me to get a cube. So I am going to take the cube out. And here, so this is my A. My A is a 3x. My B is a 4y squared. So apply it into the formula. The first formula, a plus b, 3x plus 4y squared, a squared minus ab plus b squared. So it looks pretty long, so you use the square bracket to help you. So here, 9x squared, here, 12xy squared here will be 16y4. Okay, so this one is a bit long because the A and B is a bit bigger. Okay, the next one, if you observe the next one, right, you can already see a cube. But 250 is actually not a very nice number. Okay, and in fact, right, in this question, right, there is a common factor. So if you apply the common factor, observe the number one five two uh one two five, and in the end, right, you will get the a cube minus b cube. So my a is a uh, x plus five. 
my B is a 5x. So it's actually going to be quite long. So this one will be the second formula. I'm going to erase this part. So make sure you already gotten part C. Yeah, I need the space for this. So the A plus B, I will get A plus 5 plus 5x. Five and then I got the A square. I should be doing a minus, sorry. So this part here should be a minus. And then here should be a plus. It looks like there's a lot to simplify. Here you can already simplify. You will get 5 minus 4x. Here, in fact, you might need to expand out. Here, you also need to expand out. So there's quite a lot of expansion after you insert into the formula. So you got to simplify all the x square. I hope I didn't make careless. Simplify the x and the number. So when the A and B is a bit more complex, when you insert the formula, uh, you will find that there's a lot to simplify. Okay, so that is the formula that you need to remember before you go for a uh, test on polynomial.